I want to tell you a story. This is a story about a man. A great man. He was a son. He was a brother. He was a husband. A father. He devoted his life. And he worked hard to make a difference. For you. For me. For us. When Robert Lawrence came in to the Air Force, when he chose to get in the, into the Air Force ROTC, um, the U.S. was in turmoil in those days. We were fighting each other in the streets. The civil rights era was at its height. Vietnam was raging. It was not a very popular thing for a young African-American to say, okay, I'm gonna accept my commission and go fight for this country. I remember being in high school and in our science class, we saw the movie, The Right Stuff, about NASA's recruitment of the first seven astronauts to go into space. And they were all white men. And I was thinking, are there not any people of color who have the right stuff? And that's why it's important to document the story of Major Robert Lawrence, the first African-American astronaut. Because when young people see his story, they will know that people who look like them also had the right stuff and was just as qualified as anybody else to go into space. For Robert Lawrence to succeed, he had to be better, better than the best, and he was. Well, the fact that Major Lawrence, as an Air Force pilot, had a PhD uh, meant that he was already a cut above. To be accepted into the MOLE program at that time was also a great accomplishment. The MOLE program was a highly selective, highly classified program, and only very few hand-picked people got in. If you look back, he was considered to be one of the best jet pilots that they had. We know that he uh, would have flown shuttle. He would have had a lengthy career and would have had multiple missions had it not been for that tragic accident. I was the, the beneficiary of the technique that, that Robert Lawrence helped to develop in the F-104 when he was a test pilot at Edwards, and it was called the Final Flare Maneuver. And it's, it's the way that we landed every single space shuttle in the 135 flights that we flew. It was really hard to learn. And, it, and it, as a matter of fact, because his student uh, didn't appropriately execute it that day, he lost his life. A great American, great pilot, I would have been a great astronaut. We lost him way too soon. Being an Omega is something very special. And I think, uh, you know, Robert Lawrence probably knew it very well and probably is what caused him to become an Omega. We have something that's called our Cardinal Principles, and uh, we look at scholarship, perseverance, manhood, and uplift. Robert Lawrence, his life was one of perseverance. Everybody who was worthy to be the first will remind you that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that you're not the last, that yours was only the beginning of the legacy. Bob Lawrence can now look down upon us, and he can see any number of African Americans, women, and other people of color who have followed him into the astronaut office where he blazed the trail. We consider Major Lawrence as, as, a, as a pioneer, as one who, who went in uh, to the military and continued his career fighting for his country, training and, and learning and being a test pilot and providing the, the data and the resources to help to invent the space shuttle. And most certainly he was a patriot because he died. He died serving our country. We still live in the greatest country in the world. We are taught all the time that our, our purpose in life is to serve other people. Um, we have a saying, friendship is essential to the soul. Uh, that says it's not about me. It, it's about the people around me. It's about taking in other people and bringing them into, into our circle of brothers and sisters uh, because friendship is essential to who we are. That's what makes us so different from other people around the world. Major Robert Lawrence was a man. A man who loved God. A man who believed in his country. A man who had hope for the future. Then, now, and for tomorrow. He was the first. He won't be the last.